Hello and welcome to the Google Places Rank Tracker introduction video. This video is going to demonstrate to you why the Google Places Rank Tracker is one of its kind and it is a fully feature packed and powerful software. It's also going to tell you how you're going to be able to help uh, yourself check ranks for your business or your competitors' businesses with immense ease. Um, if you're an SEO uh, company, you've got even more powerful features in, 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 built in within the software to be able to report, generate reports and uh, do lots of other powerful things with it. So we'll get straight into it. Before I show you the software, I just wanted to get some basics cleared up. So if I do a search for a restaurant, for example, um, if you, you'll notice in Google that you get these map results. These are actually called places results. Um, and there are two terminologies used within the software. One is a pack and second is a rank. Now the pack is the number of Google Places results that are showing up on page one and in this instance you've got one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So for the keyword restaurant there's a seven pack and that's what pack means. Now a rank, if I was to pick for example this Italian village here, the rank of this business is three for that keyword. So that's how the software basics work. Now what the software is also capable of doing is uh, finding out the ranks of businesses that are not showing up on the first page. So if, you're, if your business is ranked in the second or the third or the twentieth page of Google for a for particular target keyword, the software is going to be able to pull it out for you and tell you where your business is currently ranking so you can actually start optimizing your business for certain keywords on Google Places. With that out of the way, let me take you straight into the software and that's what the software looks like. Um, it's got two sections. One's a Google Places Settings tab and the second is a Google Places Rank Tracker tab. In the first tab, you basically select the country that you want to track the ranks for, so where the business is located or where you are physically located, you can choose either, it doesn't really matter, so if you, you can even work with international businesses and that's the beauty of the software, you can set the location to be exactly where you want the business keywords to be tracked or where your business, or, or if you're an SEO person, where your client is located and you can physically check what your client will be seeing as their rank if they were to do it on their computer. Let me just for example choose United States. I'm in Australia so that's that I'm not going to use that for demonstration purposes. Let's select US and for argument's sake I'm just going to use the keyword restaurant. Now obviously because I'm not in the US it doesn't know my location so it's asking me to select the location. In this case I'm going to just put Chicago and make sure you get remember this location uh, checkbox is always checked. Now for some of the countries that you select from that drop down, the location box will be either there or it will be on the left hand corner here. Regardless, just make sure you have put the correct location before you uh, start checking your ranks. So let me just click on search there. And in this instance I've just set up the location. So it doesn't matter where my business ranks currently for that keyword. All I'm doing right now is just setting up the location of the Google settings. This is where I do all the magic. So for example, if I, I would obviously want to pick for a sample restaurant and uh, I've already got one open here for example. So this is the Mercat a la Plaza Chicago and uh, I've used the keyword restaurant and if I just show you, this restaurant is currently ranking on page two and I will, all I will do is just click, right click on that place page, copy the link location and put it into the software. If you have the place page open, you, you can actually uh, just pick up the URL from there and paste it in the CID field. What that does is extracts the ID of that business and informs it to the software. As a result of that, you're able to check which keywords are ranking where on Google. I've got a set of keywords which I've extracted, so I'll just use those and just paste them over here. Um, and that's my selected list of keywords. Now I can select how many pages within Google do I want to check. So I can, in this case, I know it's on the, on the second page, so let's just keep it to that to keep the processing time low. But you can go up to page 25 if you wanted to and just increase the processing time. And the search engine courtesy, you're basically letting the software know that you want to pause for a certain duration while there is the rank tracking happening within the software. You can clear all your selections, you can delete specific keywords if you wanted to, uh, we're not going to do any of that, and you're just going to click on get ranks. When you click on get ranks, the software warns you to make sure that you've actually set the location correctly. 
because otherwise the results will not be correct. So if you're sure that that's been correct, just click on proceed. What you'll notice over here is that it actually tells you the estimated time the software is going to take to build, bring out the ranks and the actual time that's elapsed to take it. So it's going to take about two and a half minutes, so I'm just going to pause that for a little while and come back. Okay, so the rank tracking is completed. Um, it's asking me if I would like to save the rank results uh, and activate graph plotting. So the moment you save it, the graphs at the bottom become active. Um, and give it a temporary file name, temp demo, and just save that. So that shows you that it's actually pulled out all the ranks and plotted them on the graph. So what you see on the table here above is that particular keyword is bringing out a one pack that has only one Google Places results on the front page and the rank of this particular keyword for that CID business is one and for a general keyword like restaurant without the location on there it's a seven pack it's ranking on 11 for restaurant Chicago it's ranking at 10 and therefore it's not on the first page so this basically gives you a full summary of, of your rank search. You can select a few keywords if you wanted to and just update those on another date. What's interesting over here is you can actually see individual keywords. In order to demonstrate that a bit better, what I'm going to do is open up um, another project that I've saved, which is demo. And in this you'll see that I've actually set up the location slightly differently. This, this particular keyword is based on Australia and it's for a business that I've actually uh, done optimization for and you'll notice over here that they, we've been tracking this uh, this business from the 10th of July all the way up to the 15th of July and what I'm going to do now is just go back into Google set up the Google location properly and make sure it's set up to Sydney which it is and I'm going to run an update on this keyword Okay, so the rank update is completed, and uh, we've just completed the rank for the 16th of July here. And what you'll notice over here is that this currently we know which ones the business is on the first page for, and which keyword it's not on the first page for. At the same time, you could select all of these results and copy them to the clipboard, uh, so that and you can paste it anywhere else you want it into the into Excel or whichever software you want it. You can export this, the ranks as CSV, so just put a file name and it will be saved as CSV that you can open in Excel or any other CSV compatible software. And if you come over here at the bottom, uh, the, this, this graph is actually showing you the ranking status for all of the, the keywords in one place. It's a bit crowded because of the various changes that have been taking place for all of the keywords. But the good thing about the software is you can start drilling down into each of the individual keywords. So in this in this particular instance, you've got um, the pack count, which is always red. Uh, it was a six pack; it's gone to a seven pack. And then um, what the ranking was for Google updated the ranking apparently, and we've lost the ranking for that particular keyword. Um, we can see the changes for each of the keywords in that um, in that way as to how the packs and the ranks have changed over, over over the large period of time and you can see that for instance over here there was no pack being displayed up until the 12th and then all of a sudden Google has started showing a 7 pack however at the same time the ranking was lost so it's it's very indicative of the Google changes over the, over the period of time and you can copy each of these to clipboard and paste them in the word file or an excel file wherever you want or you could directly from within the software save it as a PNG file and import it anywhere within your software that you wanted. You add project notes, whatever you want, uh, and then save the rank tracker file, and you're good to go. So what you can do after that is you can go to the tools menu, and if you wanted to generate a report, what you can do is go report configuration. You could add a company logo as well if you wanted. Uh, it's going to resize the image for you, and then you save that company information saved and then you can generate the report. When you're generating the report it will give you a selection of which dates you want to include in the report so I'm just going to basically select everything. You can deselect some things that you want. You can add client details so this is my client information here that automatically gets in in integrated into the report and then you can add some notes as well. So you go save report it will ask you where do you want to save it. it saves it in an Excel file and let's say give it a demo file name and it's going to open the file as soon as it's done saving it. 
So this is what the report looks like. It tells you all about the ranking history that's been generated. Uh, it shows you which keywords have been moving in which direction. So if you've lost your rankings in the past, it will show them as uh, highlighted uh, orange. And if you if it's all good or the ranking has improved, it will show it as a green. Uh, what it also does is it shows you rank graph plots so you can see all of the ranks in one place and the graph plots and, and this report is basically ready to be printed out and sent out to your clients as an Excel or a PDF if you wanted to. All the print settings are already done for you so the graph plots will not look out of place. Uh, that's pretty much uh, all about reporting and then if you go back to the software there's, another, there's a few other cool things in the tools menu you can view the rank history within the software as well so without generating the report you can actually see all the changes and, and it's the same color coding as it was uh, in the Excel file and you can uh, copy and export all this detail to Excel or Word as a CSV. In the tools menu you've also got some other cool features you can load the pack finder directly if you've ever used the pack finder only want to see the packs that's very useful if you want to find out citation finds, there's another software that we've got, uh, Citation Finder, which you can use from here. You can this use the shortcuts from the menu for the rank results or the graphs. You can clear your Internet Explorer cache and cookies from here. That's really useful sometimes. Update the report configuration, generate another report, or view the rank history from here. Okay, we'll be putting up some very useful help videos within the Rank Tracker help section. So please look out for that. Let me give you a quick overview of the versions that are available. The bronze version, it doesn't include these graphs at the bottom you see here. And it doesn't include the report configuration and generation of the report. What I'm running right now, this is the platinum version. The platinum version is in inclusive of the report generation and the generate report. And it also has all the graphing features that you're seeing right now. The view rank history table that's available within bronze and rank tracker platinum both. The gold version completely allows you to edit the generated report file and to change the format of it completely as you like. So as you can see that the Google Places rank tracker is a rank tracking powerhouse whether you have uh, a business of your own that you're tracking on Google Places or you have a, a myriad of clients that you want to track the rankings for or even if you use a lot of keywords for your particular business you can do all of that rank tracking within the software and you can do that on a regular basis to keep all the history in one place as well I'm sure you now realize how important this software is for tracking Google Places rankings so go ahead and choose the version you want from the options below and click the buy now button and I'll make it available to you immediately